Are you properly calibrating your refractometer? Hey guys, Devin with ReefDudes, and today we're going to talk about how to properly calibrate your refractometer. But first, I want to give a quick shout out to Dennis Moody for hitting that bell and joining the notification squad. I appreciate you, man. Now, most people when they're calibrating the refractometer, you pick up your calibration fluid. Some people use RODI water, which should read zero. However, that's not going to give you the most accurate results. You want to ideally calibrate it to what you're testing for. That's going to give you the most accurate thing. Now, the biggest mistake people make is they put this on at room temperature. If you're storing it in the garage or someone else, it could be cold and that could be throwing off your reading from one to two points. Now this is something Sabella fellow pointed out the other day and I thought it was important enough that I should make a quick video on it and share it. So how can you fix this? Well, if you look at these solutions and the refractometers, pretty much all of them are calibrated to 25 degrees. And that's what most of us keep our tanks at. So what can you do about it? Throw it in the tank. Letting that calibration fluid float around your tank for a few minutes will bring it up to 25 degrees, which is the proper temperature to calibrate it at. Now I tested calibrating this at room temperature with the tank, and I also threw it in a fridge for a couple minutes, then calibrated it again. And each of these results were about a degree and a half difference just from that couple degree temperature variation in the bottle. So taking the time to throw it in your tank and whenever you're gonna calibrate your refractometers, definitely can make a big difference. Now to calibrate it, you wanna take a pipette, suck out a small amount of fluid, Make sure you put your lid on back on tightly because if there's any evaporation, it's going to throw off the reading of your solution. A couple drops on the crystal. Close it and hold up to the light and see. If it's anything other than 1.026, you know that you need to adjust it. Take a small screwdriver and there'll be a little set screw in the top. And you can slightly turn it until it reads 1.026 or 35 PPT. Now once it is set, you know you're good, you can put your little cap back on and you're good to go until next time you use it. Now one other note, if this is cold or not warm, you might want to put your solution on it and let it sit for 30 seconds or so, make sure it kind of equalizes the temperature and this will give you the best results possible. If it's worth testing, it's worth testing accurately guys, so make sure you guys calibrate your tools properly and happy reefing. 